Hello you what's his faces, Tygon here. I've been places. I've been to the future and back and I have tales to tell. I've been places where no mortal has been. Well, okay guys, I mean I'm pretty sure some of you guys have been there. I've played the beta and it's actually interesting. It, I, I learned a few things and it made me make this decision which by if you already read the title or if you just like instantly clicked, I don't know. Um, well then you wouldn't know but uh, yeah, I'm switching back to ADS, and the reason for that is because when I went over and I explored the future of what this game is going to be, uh, yeah, you can't scope plus shoot. The, the, that junk has been nerfed, and I don't know, maybe it was a glitch? I've made sure all my settings were exactly the same, which there are some pretty cool settings in the actual game, so I'm not sure, but I made sure my settings were exactly the same, and you cannot scope plus shoot. The only way you can scope plus shoot is hard scoping, so they, they just yeeted that out of there. So, I'm not gonna be the fool and just not, you know, I'm playing scope plus shoot till the next season, like, oh, what? What happened? Where, where, where did this plus shoot go? No, we're not doing that. So, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just learning ADS because, I mean, it's not actually that hard to be honest. To be honest, it is insanely easy and I can now understand why people that cannot do scope plus shoot cannot do scope plus shoot. My god, what is happening on my internet? I can now understand them because, dear lord, that junk is easy and I like I can see the actual level difference between using both methods and I'm like, okay, well I can understand if you cannot use scope plus shoot because of how easy it is to use ADS. Like, I was doing this junk when I was dead tired. I didn't there was I didn't even have to think about it. So I mean I, I like to look on the bright side, so in the end I'm still going to keep on playing Six Finger Claw because of some new information I actually learned, which is, there, um, I'm going to actually make a video on this, but yeah, drop shotting, there, there's an actual drop shot button, and most of you might not know this, but this is what I, um, how should I say, I was playing the beta at an actual beta time, or maybe it was alpha, I think it was the Indian beta, I believe, and when I was playing this beta, uh, I essentially, there were m multiple buttons, and one of the buttons on this particular game was a drop shot button along with the slide button there was two buttons now when it, the game went to the um, next beta I was like the Canadian beta and the Chinese beta they took um, the drop shot button out it wasn't really a drop shot button I'm just gonna call it that because it's more clickbaity but they took out the button that allows you to prone and I guess for good reason because I mean people are just gonna abuse the mess out of it and drop shot and I tried it guys just in in the beta, I don't know if I have any clips of it because they stopped it, but I'll check if I have any clips, I'll play it. But I tried it, and my goodness, it's so much faster because when you just drop shot like this, it takes about one second or like one and a half seconds for you to fully go down. When you use the actual button that just prones you instantly, it's way faster. So if you're able to like drop shot on someone using this, which most people can because most people just still aren't expecting it, the drop shot button is so much faster and your drop shot is going to be so much cleaner. It's just going to be way easier and that's going to definitely change the landscape of the game. So I guess, I mean, I kind of am spoiling the other video. I don't know, maybe I'll still make it, maybe I won't. But essentially what I'm trying to say is I'm going to keep on playing Six Minute Claw because I'm going to just have insane movement. That's what I want to have. So I'll be able to control anything at my will and that's why I'll just still keep using Six Fingers. But... I don't know, I just missed those two shots on some bots. It was terrible. But I am going to be using the ADS sniping because I'm mean, like, why not? At this point, I'm 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 not I'm stop being stubborn. I'm just going to I'm just going to go with the flow because apparently the game don't want you ADS snipe. Uh, they don't want you hard, um skill plus shooting. That, that's they want everyone to be a noob. They don't want any uh, they don't want a skill gap. And I mean like, okay, but that just means if I'm using this junk, I'm going to be dominating. But that has been the video guys so hope you guys enjoyed I, I think that's basically all i wanted to say in this i played um more of the beta or whatever and that um pistol that that thing looks pretty pretty spicy i actually might want to use that i don't know because um, it's kind of weird because i kind of already have that pistol if you think about it because the um j5 j35 pistol is already a one shot so i mean it could be a one shot with a headshot so i mean if you your aim is gucci on that is it really that much different 
But um, I guess it, you guys are still here. Thank you, and I'm I'm going to end the video soon. But I was watching some other people that just use Scopelet uh, ADS, and one of the people I was watching was Flacco, and I was wondering how he was able to make his shots look like that, and I figured it out. And I think playing Scopelet shoot just made ADS way easier. But essentially, you just look at the person, and then once you see them in your scope, it's that simple. You just sh release. So once you see them, you release, and then it looks like a better quick scope instead of you going on it looking for a little bit and then shooting because of the amount of time it takes. It just makes your shots look way cleaner. Cause it's your shots. Ugh. Are you bullying yourself? Maybe I am. But um, yeah, that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm gonna keep on missing these shots on bots. Nah, I'm joking. But I'm going to spend like the next two to three hours, uh, playing in a bot lobby and um, actually just shooting these bots, and to get used to scope plus shoot. If, if you guys can see, this is actually my HUD layout. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. So, uh, as you guys know, the reason this reason I kept using scope plus shoot. Is because you can easily transfer from hard scoping to quick scoping, and it was just really easy to do, right? Well, I mean, also you can transfer to drop shotting, not drop shotting, but you can transfer to hip fire, which basically um, you can just shoot instantly, right? Well, the reason why I don't even feel as bad now is because one, I'm not sure if they, I'm pretty sure they did in the beta, and they did it now. Sorry for the background noise, but you guys will see that. Um, when I fire when running or I'm just moving movement any kind there's a delay which makes no sense It's not there for any other gun There shouldn't be a delay on there. So at this point is it really worth it to be able to hit fire? I might as well just have another button if it's not an instant thing So it, it's not as alluring as it was to hit fire So that part of it's out of the window or whatever and then the other part of the matter or the other reason why I'm Saying, okay, you know what, whatever. Because, okay, hard, switching between hard scoping and quick scoping, I mean, I can still do that. It, it It's it's a bit more hassly, and it's making my um, HUD a little bit more cluttered since I have more buttons. But I'm like, eh, I gotta, gotta. But it's basically adapt or die, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna adapt. I'm going to adapt. But uh, that's been it, guys. And peace out. It's been Tygon. And, yeah, see you later, alligator. P.S. guys, this doesn't actually mean it's going to happen. I don't know for sure if this is going to happen, but it looks like it, and it's kind of weird that it would be like that because scope plus shoot is like a basic function, really. And the only way you're going to not have that working is if you're doing something to prevent it. So what I'm getting from this beta is they either are going to just completely be like, no, 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 scope plus shoot, or they're planning to do that in the future, and I just don't want to deal with that, having to go back and forth, so I'm just... I'm going to conform or whatever, but anyway, that's that's basically it. So this could all be wrong, but I have a good feeling that it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna take the initiative, go back to ADS early, and that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, peace out. Oh.